Alpha 34H. Does this sound familiar? Yes. Okay, should I keep reading? Yes, please. Okay, it's a 987T8. Is that 8 or H as in hotel? 8. 8. Um, then, then it goes to 49RMF um, 92DG. That, does that work? Is that the right one? Yes. And that, 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 that's for the Windows 98 it says on top, right? Okay, I'm just checking this number. This will just take a moment. Wow, you guys need some, like, hold music while you guys are, are looking up the stuff. Okay, well, thank you for your patience, Michael. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, the product you gave me is for Windows 98. Okay. And we do have two support options here for Windows 98. Okay. Our first option of support is our self-help website, if you could locate another computer with the Internet. Uh, I'll have to walk a couple of miles to the library, um, but I, 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 that, that sounds like an option. What's the other one? Our other option available today is a paper incident, which is a $35 charge to a major uh, credit card. Uh, but, but Geek Squad told me I could call you, and you guys would walk me right through installation of a Windows 98 on my Commodore 64. Yes, but with Windows 98, there is a fee. It's nearing the end of its life cycle, so it's considered an older Microsoft product. Wow, so I guess I really couldn't get support on this 311 floppy disk thing I have then, can I? Is that for Windows 98 as well? No, the, the, the Windows 311 for work groups. It, it's it's Windows. It, I My buddy says it, it, it's an old, old version of Windows. In case the other ones didn't work. So, so can I install this Windows 98, though, on my Commodore 64? Or did Geek Squad lie to me? Okay, I'm just checking now. Because I, I, I can bring it to, like, Best Buy, and they, they can do it for less than $35, and they, they, they can do it themselves. But uh, before I go try to give them money, I, I, I want to make sure that they can install this Windows 98 thing onto my Commodore 64. Okay, let me put you on hold for a moment. I can check this out. Okay, then. What idiots! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it down, keep it down. <laughs> Talk in X chat, guys. Go to X chat. Uh, go, go to the uh, the Osprey room in the Osprey network. <laughs> I'm gonna ask her what she's wearing too. Cause she sounds hot. Yes, the Geek Squad was. <laughs> That'd be funny. She does sound pretty hot, though. She does. Sounds like she's like 20-ish. I don't know. Thank you for holding again. I just checked with my manager, and she said that she doesn't think that you can put it on. Uh, put 98 on a Commodore 64. So Geek Squad lied to me then, cause they said you could. But she doesn't think you can, so it is. It could be doable. It could be, but we don't support that here, so we wouldn't have even have any way of knowing. Really? So, so Microsoft says I can that that I could possibly put Windows 98 on a Commodore 64. Well, from what I understand, like nobody here is really even familiar with that anymore. They don't believe so, but nobody's familiar with a Commodore 64. It it, it looks brand new. It, it it really does look brand spanking new. It it's got this floppy drive thing and it, 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 it's weird because I, I thought I could do it. It's it's a Commodore 64. It doesn't have like 64 megs of memory or something. As I said, I'm a customer service representative, sir, so I'm not technically trained. Okay, and you don't have like a script that you could read me and tell me how to do it? I can look to see what I can find here about it. About a Commodore 64? Can you hear me now? Okay, I'm sorry. I was just checking. So, so do you know if Commodore 64 is even a PC or something? Because, uh, but Geek Squad said it, it was supported and everything like that. And uh, is it just some kind of old game system or something? Honestly, I'm not even familiar with the Commodore 64. I had to ask my manager what it was. Oh, jeez. How old are you, like 20? Because cause they're not that old. It was like last year's technology. And and no offense, uh, I didn't mean to upset you at all on that. Because I'm looking at the sticker right here and it says 19, uh, sorry, 2003. It says, yeah, something like that. More like... Are you still there? Yeah. We can hear it. Yeah, because this is getting really, really frustrating because I've called Geek Squad and Geek Squad told me to call you. Or to call Best Buy, I called Best Buy, and they told me to call you. 
So I put two and two together and called you, and now you guys can't help me. So did you find anything for me in there, in your wonderful little database of computer things? I'm just looking here, Steve. A lot of it's just bringing up Commodore 64 games. You're bringing up Commodore 64 games? What kind of games? I don't know, Microsoft put out games for Commodore 64? No, I'm looking on the internet to see what I can find. I, don't, I highly doubt there would be anything about the Commodore in our information. Really? Why do, you, why do you say that? Well, when I asked my manager, she said that it wasn't supported here. Oh, uh, that's not good. It, it, the, it's not that old either. So, the, you, so you, you just found those games online, right? Microsoft doesn't have any, do they? Do they? Oh, that, that's all depressing now. I'd like to speak with my manager. I can put you through to her, because I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what a Commodore 64 is. Oh, so, so mm, that's not good. Well, when I put up the screen, though, I get I get a blue screen with a little cursor. Isn't that DOS? It, it, it's a it's a blue screen with a with a cursor. Um, should I just bring this to Best Buy, or should I try to call Geek Squad back and see if they can walk me through it? You could actually call whoever you would prefer to assist you with it. Okay, uh, but but Microsoft can't support that, can they? So, so what's your final answer? Do you think I could get Windows 98 to work on my Commodore 64? Well, as I said, sir, I'm not familiar with it. I checked with my manager, and she didn't believe that you could. Yep, but but there is a possibility, though. Well, I would assume, but from what I've been told, they didn't think it could be done. But oh, that's not good. So, do I get the second best? And do I? What, what was your name? My name is Melissa. Melissa. So, so if I can't get that, you sound very, very helpful. How old are you? I'm not allowed to give that information. Oh, you're not allowed? No. Oh, I was gonna ask you out on a date or something, and take you out to a nice steak dinner. I, I, I got a real good deal on this computer, so I've got some extra money on my credit card. All right then, I'll let you go, cause I, I, I guess I'll just call Geek Squad. Con! She hung up. <laughs> it doesn't help you acting like a fucking moron, Paul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw it. I saw it. Can I talk to your supervisor? You've been very helpful. Don't get me wrong, but I'd like your supervisor's opinion. Yes, I heard that. Too bad. Come on. He was too busy in the line like me. Uh, uh, don't hit on your something because you're acting like crazy. Oh yeah, Time Warrior needs to learn how to freaking not to have a he uh, head headphones on because he he likes the damn echo. Uh, I I'm just sitting here like trying to find a Windows 98 key, and I'm like shit. I get I'm getting all these Windows errors trying to fucking find it, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> The chant of the idiots. Oh my god. Alright, who's next? Because Microsoft sucked. I don't know. That wasn't <laughs> <bad. laughs> According to Microsoft, there is a possibility. Yes, according to Microsoft, there is a possibility now, that we now, could now get now it. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, you have to post this on every news group you know. Oh, fuck that. This is Osprey material. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. This is all Osprey. Huh? We would like to thank all of our victims for being participants on Pointless Audio here on Osprey Networks. Your pure and unsolicited stupidity has brought joy to the hearts of all. Prank calls are not against the law, so please don't bother calling your lawyer. We will never call an individual, just stupid fucked up corporations and businesses. No one's personal information will ever be made public. We will never harass or threaten anyone or otherwise do anything illegal. Everything on this show and on our site is our opinion and is no way meant as slander. Free speech gives us the right to that opinion. So if you're offended, we plead the first. Fuck you. Thanks again for listening, and we hope you have a great day.